is yeah, yeah. it's your boy time back here with another video and in this video today guys we're gonna be going over and talking about the newest season six rewards in nba 2k 23 my team now i'm hoping these this dark matter malik Seeley and i and steve smith i see i'm hoping those are our online and offline rewards Although I even see down here, we've got some solid cards like Gus Gerard. Where is he going to be at? Franz Wagner. All of these things kind of are getting me excited. Maybe we have some token cards. Let's break it down here. Now, before we dive any further into it, if you're new to the channel, man, make sure to smash that subscribe button. We're on the road towards 120,000 subscribers. So here's the deal. This starter card, Shaq, this is just his base card. Obviously, gets two Evos. He's going to be bad. I mean, if, if you need a very start to your card and a guy to play like triple threat offline with, maybe. But other than that, the card's not going to be good. D Dark Martin, Derek Martin? Uh, Derek, I think is probably the pronunciation. 5'11", 6'2", wingspan. Okay, hot spots from both corners and the top of the key. Oscar base on quick, Lou Will upper, ew, normal leaner, MJ dribble style. Card low key stinks. Not even low key. He's 5'11". Never, ever, ever would I use Derek Martin in my team. Louis Dampier up next. What base does he got? Tony Parker, as always, on quick MJ dribble style. I mean, he at least does something a little bit more, but would I ever recommend you guys running Louis Dampier? No. The card's not very good in my team. Uh, Bob Dandridge up next. Again, another season six reward. Six, 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 nine weeks. Spin hot spots from both corners. 82 base, three ball, 90 speed acceleration, 89 ladder quick is good into your perimeter. Again, another card that's not horrible, but very mediocre in my team. And I, I just would not recommend running Bob Net, Bob Dandridge. I mean, if you get him, you can maybe try him out. But the card's not great in my team. Kai Jones up next. I have hope for him. 6'11", 7'1", wingspan. No hot spots from the three-point line. 81 base, three ball. Good standing, driving dunk. Can't really handle the ball that well, but defensively is solid enough. Kai Jones is not horrible. He's just not great, right? I mean... Only 26 base badges. You can get cards for 3,000 MT like Nicholas Claxton. That's going to be better than Kai Jones. And I'm not trying to sit here and hate. I'm just trying to be realistic with you. Kai Jones, not next level good. Let's check it out next on Oxbow Card here. Rod Strickland, another season six reward. 6366 six, six wingspan. 88 three ball. Decent playmaker. Defensively, not great. Release wide. Kyrie on very, or on quick, not even very quick. Again, another Cardi. I know he's got quick drops. Just not good in my team. Like, I, I, th 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 this has to be one of the worst just all-around things I've seen. Okay, Gus Gerard, can he be good? 6'8", small forward. Okay, that's a start. Okay, 6'8", small forward. Okay, that's a start. 7 for wings, fan-out spots from everywhere outside the outside the three-point line. Okay, 43 base badges. Shooting badges, good. Playmaking, good. Defensively, really solid. Uh, 92 three ball, decent driving dunk, decent speed ball, bowling on 89 speed, 85 lateral quit is decent interior perimeter again. Kevin Knox base on quick, it's gonna be chick. How good is it gonna be? I, like, how quick is it gonna be? I don't really know. Dribble six, not great either. I mean, Gus Gerard's fine. I don't really know where you get him. He's just in season six rewards, but he doesn't seem like next level good. Herb Williams up next. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing these Galaxy Opals, like one's gonna be an unlimited. One's going to be in, you know, clutch time offline. One's going to be in triple threat offline. And we'll, we'll talk about that in my breakdown video. So make sure to stay tuned to that. But like, if Gus Gerard is in my team unlimited or whatever mode he's in, he's not like a guy I'd say, wow, you need to go get him. He's just mid. Herb Williams up next, 6'10", 7'3", wingspan, 83 ball and 90 driving, 95, uh, or 90 standing, 95 driving, a good speed ball, ball handle, and a good speed, good ladder quickness, interior perimeter is good. I mean... DeAndre Jordan based on normal timing, normal leaner, MJ dribble style. We can never have anything good in life. I mean, DeAndre Jordan based on normal timing. The rest of the card is good, but I can't hype that up. Jerry Lucas up next, 6'8", 6'11", wingspan, 95, three ball, good standing, dunk, driving, dunk, good speed ball, ball handle, 89, speed, 90, ladder quickness, decent interior perimeter, does come a Hall of Fame range, clan breaker, quick first step, Defensively, really solid. Doesn't come with unpluckable animations. Corey Kiss were based on normal. There's no way these are our rewards. Unless they're going to update these. Because this is about as bad as I've seen. Kiss were based on normal timing with normal leaner. They've got to update him. If he gets an update to let Corey Kiss were based on very quick, the card could be really solid. Otherwise, I can't sit there and hype up Jerry Lucas. I can't. A release on normal timing, I'm not going to hype that up. 
Sean Livingston up next. Let's start with the release. JT Thorbase on very quick. Okay. MJ dribble style. Day moving around the back. Okay. Normal leaner. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. I mean, okay. 94 three ball, 90 driving, 95 speed ball, 92 ball, and 95 speed acceleration. Good ladder, good needs, good interior perimeter. Shooting wise, got everything. Playmaking wise, got everything. Defensively solid. Hey, hey, hey. I, I don't mind Sean Livingston, right? Very nice. I'm not gonna lie. This card is good. I mean, that, it's just that simple. This card is good. If you give Monty Williams, obviously, 99 three ball, 99 speed, 99 perimeter, good ball handle. The card is really solid. Me, personally, I'm hoping Sean Livingston is our unlimited reward because, look, you get the card, he's definitely one of the top 10 point guards in my team. I'm not going to sit here and say top 5, but definitely probably top 10. So, out of all the Galaxy Open rewards so far, Sean Livingston's the best. Franz Wagner, y'all know I love Franz in my team. 94 three ball, good driving, none good, speed ball, ball, no good, speed, lateral, quickness is good, finishing wise, solid, shooting wise, good. Playmaking play good enough, defensively solid. I'm hoping for the Franz Wagner base on very quick. We got it. Let's go. Normal leaner, MJ dribble style. Hey, I like Franz Wagner, and I know a lot of people aren't going to like Franz in my team. Ty Debo going crazy, literally, man. Y'all know I love Franz Wagner, man. So between, look, between Jerry Lucas, and maybe Jerry Lucas is like the Ascension, and Herb Williams, Gus Sherrard, these cards all stink. Sean Livingston style, if Franz Wagner is very, really, really good. And then, obviously, uh, you know, those two cards, hopefully they're in modes I want to play, right? So what I'm hoping for is at least one of those two in my team unlimited so I can get them on the way uh, to, to my ultimate 20 box goal. Next up, guys, Galaxy Opal Bradley Beal can play point guard 6'4", six, 6'8", six, wingspan. That's not bad at all, okay? 98, three ball. He can't standing dunk because he's only 6'4". That's kind of a letdown. That's why I was hoping they'd make him 6'5". 95 driving, a decent play, making good speed defensively solid enough i'm not gonna sit here and hype up bradley beal the card's probably gonna be fine but for me he can't standing dunk and again i know he's got quick drops got other stuff but if you can't standing dunk for me at this stage in my team i hate to say it you're not playing for me bradley beal is mid dave cowan's up next collector level rewards six nine seven foot wingspan can play small forward 92 three ball good standing dunk driving dunk good speed ball ball handle defensively is absolutely elite. I mean, stat-wise, Dave Cowens reminds me of Bill Russell. Honestly, like, stat-wise, they're eerily similar. Badge-wise, Dave Cowens is even better. Now, again, Jerry Allen base, Oscar upper on very quick. That's going to be a really smooth release. Normal leaner, MJ dribble style, T-Max, uh, size of wall, size of escape, Dave move by the back. He'd say Dave Cowens is the top two small forward in the game. Probably the best small forward in the game, okay? So if you did get him, or if you are grinding collector level, they finally made it somewhat worth it. Still not worth it. Like, it's incredibly expensive. But Dave Cowens is extremely, extremely good in my team. We got some more cards here. Uh, obviously, here's your probably online and offline reward. I don't know what Isaiah Thomas is going to be, but... Start with Steve Smith. If I had to guess, I would guess Steve Smith's going to be your offline and Malik Seeley's online, but we'll see, you know, obviously with my season breakdown video. Steve Smith, small forward shooting guard, 6'8", 6'10", weeks, spin out spots from everywhere, 97 three ball, 95 driving, 95 speed ball, 92 ball handle, good speed, great defensively. Card is elite. Doesn't lack anything. If you get the card, you don't have to really apply anything to him. Tenancy wise, solid. Lamello base on very quick with the 48 upper Trey Leaner MJ dribble style Trey size escape. This card is elite. Is he as good as T Mac? I don't know. All I'm gonna say is if you get Steve Smith, you've got a top two or so shooting guard in the entire game. I mean, top two or three, I would say. Terry, T Mac, and Steve Smith. This card is absolutely elite. Lacks nothing. And uh, I'm just telling y'all, Steve Smith is elite. Malik Seeley up next, another shooting guard, 6'8", 7 foot, wingspan, hot spots from everywhere, 91 three ball, good driving next, standing next, fine, good speed ball, boy, no, speed's great, defense great, another shooting guard that's incredible, right, I mean, you don't have to apply any badges to him, tendency wise, perfect, Derek Fisher base, right up on very quick, no idea what that's like, Trey Leaner, MJ dribble style, Kemba size up, wall size of escape, Trey moving by the back, hey set, between Malik Seeley, Steve Smith, you're looking at two of the top five shooting guards in the entire game. Now, these two are probably going to be RNG. I do think Malik Seeley is a little bit better, probably. But, you know, both those cards, absolutely elite. Isaiah Thomas, maybe he's the Ascension reward. I have no idea. The card's not going to be very good in my team. Luke Kennard base on very quick, smooth. Normal leader, MJ Dribble style. All that smooth, but he's only 6'1". Now, I, knew that, I do know there's probably some big Isaiah Thomas fans out there. 
but the card is not great in my team. In the moment, we've been waiting for Dark Matter, Hakeem the Dream. It's sad that we got a KD today with more Hall of Famers than uh, our ultimate level 40 reward, Hakeem Olajuwon. But it is what it is. 93 ball, good inside scoring, playmaking's fine. Speed's great. Defensively, is great. Defensively, obviously, look at those badges. Incredible. Doesn't come with Agent 3s. Comes with range, though. It's all going to come down to his animations. Vooch base on very quick. It's not change. Normal leaner, MJ dribble style. I mean, the card's good. Is he anything to, like, lose your mind over? No. I mean, again, Hakeem's really good. Does he make the best squad in the game right now? I mean, you guys be the judge. Who's, who's better, right? Wilt or Hakeem? You guys be the judge. My whole thing is, look, he's going to be free. A very solid overall level 40 reward. So, obviously, Malik Seeley, Steve Smith, take the cake. Don't sleep on Franz Wagner or Sean Livingston in their respective modes either, though. Overall, kind of a letdown of the non-RNG rewards. Hakeem, I'm a little let down with. Same thing with all these Galaxy Opal modes for our rewards for their specific modes. I'm hoping Jerry Lucas, Herb Williams gets updated. Otherwise, it's going to be pretty sad. Let's get to wrap it up. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new and as always, man. I love you guys. And have a blessed day.